Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 8 under the topic body plot. Here the problem is find the transfer function of a system having body plot as shown below. So here the body plot is given and from the body plot we are asked to find the transfer function. So to have a better idea I had made an introductory video to solve problem like this, I will give the link in the description. Kindly check it. It will be helpful. Right. Now this is our given body plot. So from this body plot, we need to find the transfer function. So when you look at your body plot, you see we have four parts. Right. So this is our first, first part and this is our second part. This is our third part and this is my fourth part. Right. So here I had marked these as individual parts. In the problem, they had simply given the diagram, right? So initially you see the value of this first slope is minus 20 decibel per decade. Here what about the second part? It is a straight line. What does a straight line indicates? It indicates it is a zero decibel line, right? And again you see here we are having a plus 20 decibel per decade because you see the slope is increasing. So here we are having plus 20 decibel per decade. This is given in the problem, right? So and finally I am again I am having a straight line. This indicates it has 0 dB, right? So we are going to solve each and every part and finally we are going to give our transfer function, right? So first look at your part 1. So at part 1, as we all know, what, what is on the y-axis? In y-axis, we have magnitude in decibels, right? So only here, they had given the magnitude as minus 12 dB, right? And in x-axis, as we all know, x-axis stands for frequency. So these are all the different values of frequencies, right? So at part 1, you see, here at omega that is the frequency is 0.1 and the value of this magnitude is minus 12 even if you feel uh, comfortable even you can name it as a also because in the previous problem we had denoted magnitude in decibel as a right so even you can keep it as a a or db or whatever right and finally here in part 1 what is the slope value it is minus 20 decibel per decade right so from part 1 what are all the things we can able to take we know the value of frequency as 0.1 and the value of magnitude as minus 12 and the slope value as minus 20 right so here we had written all the values right so since we are having a negative slope, what does it indicate? It indicates we are having an S term in the denominator, right? So, simply I am writing the transfer function as K by S, right? Because K is a constant, we don't know the value of constant what it is. So, let it be K here. So, K by S, right? So, what is the formula for magnitude? The magnitude formula is generally given as a is equal to 20 log of here that is constant and individual s will contribute our first slope right do you people remember that yes so here we are writing 20 log of k and i have substituted j omega in the place of s so i am having 20 log of k by j omega right so this is our basic formula then from the problem we know the value of magnitude right it is minus 12 db so here just substitute the values that's it so minus 12 equal to 20 log here these both are in division so they can be written in the form of like this with the subtraction sign right so 20 log k minus 20 log of omega so what is the value of omega the value of omega is said to be it is found to be 0 0.1 from the graph so just substitute the values here so once you substitute 20 log 0.1 gives you the answer minus 20 so minus into minus becomes plus so here finally we are having plus 20 so again i am moving this plus 20 to the left hand side it becomes minus 20 so finally minus 32 that is minus 12 and minus 20 gives you minus 32 which is equal to 20 log k 
So, log k is given by minus 32 by 20. So, k is given by 10 to the power minus 32 by 20 which is equal to 0 0.025. Right. So, our transfer function is given by we had written transfer function as k by s. Right. So, here we had find out the value of k. So, just substitute the value of k here. So, here the transfer function is given as 0 0.025 divided by s. Right. Then we are moving to part 2. So look at the plot now. You see part 2 we are having what is the value of slope? It is 0 decibel per decade. So what is the value of frequency? At the frequency is 3.5. Okay. At 3.5 the value of slope changes from minus 20 decibel per decade to 0 decibel per decade. Here the value is 0. Right. So these are all the things we observe from the plot. So just write it in sentences. So the value of slope is 0, right. At frequency 3.5, the slope changes from minus 20 to 0 dB, right. Just now I have explained, right. Just from the diagram, it is clear. The value of frequency at this frequency, the slope changes from minus 20 to 0. So what does it indicate? Initially, it is minus 20, right? But now it is 0. So, what is added to the minus 20 to make it 0? So, a yeah, plus 20 have to be added to make the final output 0. Do you people agree with that? Yes. So, which one contributes this plus 20? Which one contributes this plus 20? This plus 20 is contributed by an term which is present in our numerator, right? Because the numerator term contributes a slope of plus 20 and the denominator term contributes a slope of minus 20. That is S term I am mentioning here, right? So, this shows that there is a 0. 0 is nothing but the elements which are present in the numerator, we will name it as 0. That's it, right? So, this shows that there is a 0 which is present in the that is 0 which is available at the frequency of 3.5. So what is our first transfer function Tf1 is this term. So write this term as such here. Right. This term you have to write as such. Here what we had find out. There is an addition of plus 20 and this plus 20 is contributed by a numerator element. That is numerator element is given by 1 plus some number with s. Right. We have to find this number. So how to find this number? We have to take reciprocal of the corner frequency. So here the corner frequency is 3.5. So when you take reciprocal, here you are getting 0.285. Right. Let me explain in a better way. You see, what is the corner frequency? How we will find corner frequency from the transfer function? We will be taking reciprocal of the coefficient of S. Right. So here I am having this element that is coefficient of the S term. I have to take reciprocal. So when you take reciprocal of this term, what we will be getting? We will be getting our corner frequency. That is you see when I take 1 divided by 0.285, the answer will be 3.5 radians per second. So this will be, this is one of my corner frequency. Right. So, that is the reason here why I am taking reciprocal of this 3.5 to get this number. Right. Hope you people understand. I hope so. Then we are moving to part 3. So, at part 3 again we have to look at the graph. So, part 3 what happens? From 0 decibel the slope value changes to plus 20 decibel. Right. From 0 it changes to plus 20. So, what does it mean that, wait, I will explain. So, as usual, just list out the terms. That is, at omega, the value of frequency is 10. The slope changes from 0 to plus 20. So, what does it mean that, initially the slope is 0 and, for, and now it is plus 20. So, what should be added to the 0 to get plus 20? We have to add 20. Okay, well, plus 20. So, what is mean by this plus 20? This plus 20 tells that there is an another S term in the numerator. Right. So, 
here you see again we have to write the previous transfer function as it is so write these terms as such here you see these three terms are written here and this plus 20 indicates there is an another element which is present in the numerator so here again 1 plus some number with s how to find this number again you have to take the reciprocal of the corner frequency so 1 divided by 10 will give you 0.1 so here you have to write the expression as 1 plus 0.1 yes because when you take reciprocal of the coefficient of s yes, that will give you the corner frequency so from the corner frequency we can easily find what is the coefficient of s yes, which is present here right because 1 divided by 10 gives you 0.1 and again 1 divided by 0.1 will give you 10 radian per second right then you have to include that term also right yes now we are moving to our part 4 again we will look at our graph so what happens in part 4 in part 4 again there is a change of slope right the frequency is 20 decibel per decade and again the slope sorry the frequency is 20 and the slope changes from plus 20 to 0 again right it is clear from the graph you see here it is 0 decibel per decade so at omega equal to 20 right the slope changes from 20 decibel to 0 decibel right so initially we are having 20 decibel okay now we are having 0 decibel so what should be added to this 20 to make it 0 we have to include a minus 20 here right so which term contributes minus 20 the term which is present in the denominator will contribute here yeah? minus 20 so the denominator terms are named as poles right they are denoted as pole so there is a pole at the frequency of 20 right so how to write the pole again you have to write all these terms as such so write these terms here right now we are going to include this denominator term that is 1 plus some coefficient along with s yes. how to find this coefficient again you have to take the reciprocal of this frequency so 1 divided by 20 gives you 0 0.05 let us write here so 1 divided by 20 will give you 0 0.05. So this forms our last term. Right. So this is our transfer function for the given Bode plot. Even I will tell you a small trick. So how many parts are there in the given Bode plot? We are having 4 parts. Right. Similarly in the transfer function also you will be having 4 terms. Right. You see 1, 2, 3 and 4 terms. Right? That's all. The problem gets solved here. I hope you people understand well. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.